y'all. Today is a busy day for me. I've got to be in the office all day today. And then I'm going to my double workout. Today's my P98 day and my Zumba day. Um, so when I get home, I need supper to be cooked. I need somebody else cooking for me. So I'm going to let Mr. Crockpot cook for me. Um, this is something I haven't done in a long time. And one of you gave me the idea because... You said, Amy, I can't find your white chicken recipe. Please redo it. And I thought, what a fabulous thing to do today. So that's what we're doing. And it's so easy and it's very comforting. Um, it reminds me of an Alfredo chicken, but it's not quite Alfredo chicken. I'm not trying to say that, but it just reminds me of that. It's creamy and comforting. So I've got two big frozen chicken breasts. Y'all see these? I mean, frozen. Frozen, going in. So easy so far, huh? And I'm going to salt each breast kind of like um, salting each piece of chicken. So I'm not going to tell you how much because you can revise this recipe to be, this is two big chicken breasts for John and me. You can make it be four or six or eight. I would think six chicken breasts would feed a good many people. Um, so... However you need to do it, you can kind of revise it and add to the recipe. I'm also uh, putting fresh ground pepper on here. This is a pepper melange of black and green and pink and white and red pepper. You can do black pepper, you can do the store. Already ground pepper, doesn't matter. You see, I just kind of did it like I was just seasoning each piece of chicken. Um, next thing, this comes from my best friend, Brittany. Um, I make a red chicken, y'all seen and made. And she makes a white chicken, and so she and I, years back, were talking on the phone. What you cooking for supper? What you cooking for supper? And I said red chicken, and she said white chicken. So we exchanged recipes, and we'll flip back and forth um, between these. They're both really, really good. One can of cream of chicken soup. Like I say, if you're doing six or eight breasts, you could add two cans of cream of chicken. So you can kind of just critique it how you want to. Change, change. All right, and I use this can of cream of chicken soup. This is a, and y'all know I'm going to put the recipe above me on Facebook, um, right under the title, and below me in the description box on YouTube. So you don't have to get all these measurements. This is a um, 10 and a half ounce can or 296 gram can. Y'all see, I'm on the struggle bus trying to read that. Um, I've got chicken broth. I'm not going to use all of this chicken broth. But I opened it because this is going to cook all day. And so if I want to have it be a little juicier, then I can add some. I'll keep this in my refrigerator, though. And I'll find something else to put it in. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay, guys. So that's going to be that same amount of chicken broth I'm also going to put in here. John likes it. I don't think the recipe calls and Brittany told me she didn't always put the chicken broth. But John likes it to be plenty juicy. He doesn't like a, a dry pasta, so I put it. Um, this is something that you use. This is called Italian dressing and seasoning mix. And... It's by Wishbone. I'm going to come show you up close. I'll show you the box. That's what I'll do. Y'all see that? And I've read before, it just has many Italian seasonings in it. Let me look back. Let's look back here and see if I can find the ingredients. Salt, dried garlic, onion, red bell pepper, and so on and so forth. So, just gives you an idea of Italian seasoning. So, I do not use this entire packet. These are little, I think I would have read that before I took my glasses off. These are small little packets. Let me tell you how big they are. Uh, well, it just says net weight is 2.5 ounces or 70 grams. So it doesn't tell me how much this little packet is because it came with two of these little packages in it, two envelopes. But anyway, anyway, y'all know what this is. 
I'm sure y'all seen this since you were kiddos or younger anyway. Now, what I was saying, ours is just two chicken breasts, so I don't need this entire package. It makes it entirely too much seasoning, just like my red chicken. Um, with the two chicken breasts, I don't put the whole entire package of that spaghetti seasoning. So again, I'm just going to sprinkle about like I'm sprinkling on each piece of chicken. Maybe like two teaspoons. See that? That's it. So this leaves me a whole other amount, but it does not go to waste. I get a little Ziploc and I just put it back in the package, back in the box. I know what it is. And I can do this for next time with white chicken. Or if I do want to make a little marinade or some seasoning mix to go on a salad or a meat marinade. And the back of this box says Italian Easy Oven Fried Chicken. And it looks really, really good. And so I'm always, I don't care what I pick up, I see what recipe they have for you to make. <laughs> And just about anything and everything's got another little recipe. And they're always real quick and easy recipes that we need on weeknights, right? I know. Okay, guys. Something optional that uh, Brittany does not have in her recipe is I add parsley. This is a good time for me just to do a sprinkle of parsley to get us some, something good for us in there. And again, oregano. I love oregano. And I know I always smell it because I just love how it smells. So I add a little dried oregano and dried parsley. You don't have to. If you're just wanting to dump and run out the door, you don't have to do that. And this is one block of Philadelphia cream cheese. What did I do with my box? Oh, yeah. One eight-ounce block of cream cheese. And again, I will put the measurements, um, the recipe for you. And I've chopped it into little bitty blocks to put on top here. Just like that. I hope y'all can see down in here. Or over here. I do, I do. I need to get all real fancy. I've got me an extra camera. I need to hang it right here above so I can switch back and forth. You can see what I'm putting in here. But, um... I haven't gotten there yet. I've stayed too strung out doing too many different, wearing too many hats during the day to do that. Let me take a picture of this so I can um, post a step-by-step -step instructional, instructional video. There we go. Show y'all what this looks like so far. Y'all see, it doesn't look like much anything, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. All right, put the lid on. Um, I'm going to be gone. Uh, well, I thought I was going to be working in my office. I'm still going to work in the office, but my son just called and he has no one to help him read water meters. So he said, Mom, can you go read water meters with me? His, his wife. If you'll watch Ashley for me, which is the grandbaby. And of course I said, yes. So she's going to go in the office with me, but she's so little. She won't be in any trouble whatsoever. And she'll still let me get some of her office work done. Um, so I can make my workouts tonight. So not a problem whatsoever. Um, the only other thing, when I come home today after I've been in the office and watch little Ashley and I go to my double workouts, I'll come back home. John's working until dark too. He's this time of the year that I hardly, we are hardly going to see John, but I'll try to get him to get on here and bless his food with us. Um, what I'll do is I'll cook some penne pasta, and the reason why I'll do it separately, I'll cook it on the stove in a little pot of water and put a little olive oil on it to keep them separated. Reason why Brittany will put hers in here with maybe a little more chicken broth about an hour before you eat, and then it's all in one pot. The problem I have with that is I can never bet on exactly when John and I are going to sit down and eat because he works for many um, water companies around here. He's maintenance on there. And so if you get a water leak, you know, by law, you have to provide people with water. So um, he's off and gone. Um, we missed a, a gathering just last night because of that. So anyway, but that's just, that's just, it comes with the territory and the business, so, um, so be it. Uh, so anyway, I cook my pasta separately just because I can't bet on when we're going to eat and I don't want it to get too overdone in here. And that's the only other thing. And also, uh, when I go out to Sam's Club, I'll buy, they'll have two big, huge, long 
things of French bread, and I'll buy them in one package, and they're, uh, I don't know, two or three dollars for those two big, and I'll cut them in half and freeze them like this, and so then this evening when I get home, I'll just cut us a couple of pieces off of this, put a little salt and pepper and olive oil, maybe a little parsley and garlic, and put that in the oven real good for us, and we're going to have supper. Um, I also have some dark green uh, lettuce um, and some purple lettuce. Um, some of those dark greens, and so I might do a little side salad to go with it. But that's it. It's just that simple, um, and you don't have to do anything extra. You can just sit down and eat a big old bowl of this. But I'll try to get back on here this evening, and I'll show y'all how good and comforting this turns out. See, y'all be you know, I think I got to yakking <laughs> and forgot to tell you what, how long I was going to cook this. Mine, because I'm going to be gone all day, I did get to yakking. I'm going to put mine on low for, um, you can go six to eight hours, and it's done and well good, um, but I have pushed it to ten before, like I say, because I don't really know uh, when we're going to get to eat supper in the evening, uh, so ten, it'll work too, but um, six to eight to get it done on low, or you can turn it on high. I would say four to five hours. I think three would be a little, just a little not quite as good. So four to five hours on low, six to eight hours on high. <laughs> Here she is. Ashley, everybody's been asking about you and how you are. Tell everybody hi. Hey, say hi, everybody. Oh, she's getting mad. You get mad, Mimi promised you a walk around outside, didn't she? Yes, she did. She and I are going to go walk outside. I said I was going to go in the office with her, but it's such a pretty day. We're going to go look at the moo cows. Go, go look at the moo cows outside. She walked to me to the mailbox, and she said, I like it outside, Mimi. Okay, guys, we're going to go walk around outside before she gets upset with Mimi again. <laughs> okay, we're going. We're going, baby. Hey y'all, I'm back. It is dark outside. It's almost 9 o'clock at night and John's still not home. You'll see how it works. <laughs> um, I watched baby Ashley. Y'all saw her for a second. And then I went to my workouts and I'm back home. I went to the grocery store, unloaded all that. I closed the chickens up for the night. And so since it's getting so late, I think I'm fixing to show y'all how I'm going to serve this up to him. I bet when he gets here, he's going to want to shower and eat and go to bed. <laughs> So, um, he'll have to bless the food with us another night. I know y'all love that. I love it too. And he will before we eat. But I feel like he's going to be really tired. So, I'm going to bring y'all over here. Let's see. Let me get y'all down here on this food. Let's see here. Scooch y'all around. Scooch, 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 scooch. Huh? There we go. Now, like that, and let me scoot y'all on Facebook over here, so y'all can see too. There we are. There we are. I think everybody's good. I want to show y'all what this looks like. Doesn't that look fantastic? Yes. Yes, it does. Let me turn y'all just a little bit more where y'all can see that really well. I'm going to show y'all what I do. Um... I fish out my big chicken pieces here. Mine were the two chicken breasts. I imagine you could do this with thighs if you wanted to. But this is a good time to cook a nice lean breast and it stay good and moist, right? And I am going to cut my breast and literally they cut so easy, easy because they've been in there all day. Y'all know mine, I told y'all six to eight hours and at nine o'clock at night it's been it's been that and then some huh hope y'all can see i'm just chopping this up in sort of bite-sized pieces there's one kind of keep them separate so i'll know of course i give john the biggest one yes i do it smells so good when I walked in the door tonight. That's what's so great about a little crock pot. You walk in the door, it smells like somebody else is cooking. And I love that. That's just fantastic. Yes, it is. Okay. You see, I've got these chopped. That's all we need to do. 
put this knife up. I'll keep our fork. Yes, I will. Okay, and y'all see this is nice and smooth. Um, and you see that consistency of it? It's just beautiful. Just beautiful. There was another little piece of chicken down in there. If yours is kind of broken or not real smooth and creamy, you can always take a whisk and whisk it really, really nicely like that. But this one looked really good. Before I left to go work out, I did flip my chicken breast over and kind of stir it around just a little bit. I did do that once. That's all I did. Okay, guys, I have made some pasta. I hate that y'all can't see my face over here on YouTube. Oh, who's that? Yes, I do. Okay, guys. I'm going to put my pasta straight down on my counter. Let me see if I can kind of just move back a little bit so y'all can see more of the scope of everything I'm doing. Maybe that's better. Maybe that's better for me. Okay. So I did cook my penne pasta in, for about eight minutes in water, and then I drained it, and I just drizzled a little olive oil over there, so they stay nice and separated. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I'm talking about, don't you? Here we go. We'll put some of those in here. I'm going to show you how I'm going to serve this to John when he, when he does get home to me. He's, um... <laughs> He gets on these jobs and then he's got people wanting dirt and people wanting rocks, so he has to stop in the evening and start hauling dirt and rocks. It's a good problem. It's a good problem, isn't it? Okay, we've got our penne pasta just like that. I'm going to take one of these chicken breasts and just slide it off onto our penne pasta just like that. And then... Then I'll get some of this lovely sauce and I taste it and it tastes so, so very good. Like I say, it's so comforting. Y'all see that? I love, I love rice. Yes! Okay, we're not finished, guys. Remove that. I've got some Parmesan. If you don't have a block to shave Parmesan, just get you some already shaved parmesan in a bag. Doesn't this look good? You can put a little more parsley on it if you want to. Yes, it does. It looks very good. Let me raise y'all back up here. Y'all can y'all can see me and I can see y'all. We can talk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all. I'm going to show y'all up close. Good. That chicken is just falling apart. I could have cut it with a butter knife. I really could have. Mmm, it's so good. I've got some French bread I sliced up and I put a little olive oil on them and some garlic powder and some parsley. So we'll have some crusty French bread to go with it. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Very, very comforting. Very, very good. Y'all go make y'all some, okay? Bye-bye, <laughs> guys.